Hey guys, um, I have got <laughs> yet another video. I've got a, a surprise video. I actually have two coming up. I'm going to divide this into two parts just so that I can have them separate and make them a bit easier to find. <laughs> um, Josh is talking to me. So what this is, is um, this is the other half of the Sahara contact lenses. Um, the uh, Siesta Sahara from Color CL that I reviewed last time. Now this isn't the entire, this isn't the entire um, series because I, before I try to review a pair, I look at the you know the other reviews I look at the colors and I just want to make sure that on my eyes they're gonna show up and certain ones that are just like brown or a lighter brown without anything extreme I feel like they wouldn't really show up um, or colors that are like a pastel purple like there's a, a bright 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 purple I actually should have gotten that one because it's very similar to the purple that I already reviewed and I, I quite like that so I might actually try to get my hands on that one but um, for the most part, if I think it won't suit me, I I don't get it, even if it's to review, because the contacts that I get, I want to be able to wear um, and give a good review, something that's going to be noticeable and look good, not something that's just getting it just to get it. So that's why it's not the complete series. In saying that, I did get the complete series of the new line. There's a new line that is out. They're the Siesta Black Edition, which you guys know I love, and these are cloud. So there's they're the cloud contacts and the Siesta Black. So those are a really good combination, and I'm going to make a separate video for that just so I can have, since I do have the entire series, since I do have that, I'm going to put that in its own video. And um, what is going on over here? Oh, the, uh, but for now I've got... Um, one, two, three, four, five pairs of the Siesta Sahara to review for you guys. And um, one last thing is that I, one of my closest, dearest friends bought me a webcam for Christmas. And I'm also getting a ring light, like a proper ring light right now. I've just like literally got a lamp. I don't know if I can show it. Uh, so I've got, I'm packing, so I've got a lot of stuff around me, but, um, see, I've just got a cheapy <laughs> Walmart $5 light shown in my face at the moment. Um, and when I get this proper light, no more, I can't, can't stay away from me. When I get, when I get the proper light and I get the proper camera, I'm going to redo all of my contact lens videos. I'm going to do a couple of different versions. I'm going to have one with all purples, one with all greens, one with all light grays. Um, I'm going to have the different series. You know, I'm going to make them interesting. Um, but I think that I'm going to put them on my old channel because, you know, if you guys have followed me long enough, you will know that I had another channel before this one and I closed that down. Well, I mean, it's still up, but it, I, I hid everything on it. And then I moved over here so um, I might just start uploading that one and rename it like my review channel because I've got some you know I've got a lot of the color seal I have wigs I have um, some face sponges I've got some stuff I do need to review and um, especially with the color seal since there's quite a few videos I'm going to be redoing I don't want to just flood your feed with just the same subject so this way you can choose if you want to see it or not um, but I'll, I'll see if I can. I'll see if, you know, I'm still able to upload like I was on that channel. If not, I'm just going to put it here. But the pair I'm wearing right now, this is a Siesta Sahara Rose. And um, that was a hugely long introduction, but I really, really like this color. This is probably my favorite from the five that I chose. Um, these are all quite understated and really... I mean, they're very visible because, you know, the, the Sierra has the best coverage. They are a step above the blacks, um, I think. Uh, the blacks are very natural looking. These are a bit unnatural looking, but still gorgeous. I love the dark limbal ring around them. Um, the pupil has got like brown feathering so it blends in really well with your natural eye I just really really like this line I liked it so much that 
when I reviewed the first half, I was like, I've got to get my hands on more. And so I went through and I was like, man, there's, there's at least these five that I want to try. And they very kindly sent them out to me so that I could review the other half of the line that, that I think would show up best. Um, so the rose is kind of a grayish lens with a very, very, very slight pink tint. You cannot really see the pink, but when it's next to other colors, you can definitely see that there is some pink to it. Um, you probably can't really tell from here. And remember, this brand has got an, an enlarging effect to it as well. But um, I just uh, I just really, really like the way that these look. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to redo all this with the light in the camera so I can zoom and do, do it much better than I'm doing it now. But for now, this is what these look like. This is the Sahara Siesta, Siesta Sahara Emerald, and this is a more Amara. I'm oh, gonna kick your pretty little butt. More. Just want a squirt bottle. Yeah, please. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, so these are a very pretty, understated kind of like an olive green color. I think these look extremely natural, um, and these don't really have a, a limbo ring around them, but they still have great, great coverage, and I think that they look really amazing, especially from a distance. I'm, I'm highly partial to green eyes here lately, so I really... <laughs> Me and Josh have this... Um, this like competition thing going on where we we say like a big word a day to so see who who can come up with the big word of the day <laughs> so i guess using an uppity phrase like i'm really partial kind of counts um it's just like a couple's games that's the kind of couple's games we play <laughs> but um anyway so i think that these are really pretty and i really really like these even though they are a bit muted they still are vibrant and they still show up quite a bit and um you can see the way that they're made is so, so pretty. Excuse my eyebrows. These look very similar, but this is the Siesta Sahara Gold. So I kind of thought the gold would be like a more yellow color or possibly a brown, like just a straight brown. But in reality, it's actually very close to green. I should probably do a green comparison for you guys. Um, let me see. That's not the green. I've got a whole box behind me. <laughs> There's the green. So I'll pop one out in just a second and show you the green. But um, these are actually really pretty. Like, I, I say that for every pair. These are really pretty. These are really, But they're all really pretty. So it's hard not to say that because they actually are. Um, these are just, like, just a straight goldish, goldy kind of green color. Um, they don't look yellow to me at all. They just look green. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll pop this one out. And then I'll stick one of the emeralds back in. Hmm. So, oh, my hair stuck to my piercing. So, uh, so from what you can see here. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm still recording. <laughs> Josh just put together a crate. <laughs> and um, he's all proud of himself for, for being a husband. <laughs> um, but he made a funny. 
Um, so you can see them next to each other. There's not a huge amount of difference. There's a little bit of a difference. This is emerald and this is gold. So this is, I guess this is slightly more green and this is like a more yellow green. I don't know. There is a difference, but it's very subtle in my opinion. I've also got a bright light shining in my face, so I probably can't see it as well as you guys can. But, um, you know I'm making a video, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I think out of these two, I probably actually like gold better, to be honest. I thought I would like this one better, but I, I like this one better. So this is a Siesta Sahara uh, Storm. And these are just like a steely gray color. Um, these are really probably my least favorites, I think, just because there's really nothing to them. Um, the lens in the, um, in the package look pretty because around the iris, there's actually brown. It's like blue into brown. So it's actually really pretty. Um, it looks really natural and really good, but I think on on my particular eyes, they don't really stand out. They, they don't look like popping, like they're just there. And, you know, I'm not a huge fan of um, contacts that don't really show up. So these are nice. I do like them. Um, I'd be curious to do you know, what they look like, um, doing a comparison between these and like the other grays and the other like blues that I have, um, which will come in a later video, but I mean, they're all right. I don't hate them, but they're just, they're just not extreme. They're not, to me, they don't show up very well. Lastly in this series, this is the Siesta Sahara Fox. And name-wise and review-wise, these are the ones I was the most excited to try because a lot of people love them and I was thinking Fox, so they'll be bright yellow, they'll be really like cat-like and beautiful. They are beautiful, they're not like cat-like. They're kind of like a lighter brown, like they're like a hazel brown color. It's really hard to describe. This is what they look like. Um, next to my my natural eye so you can see there is a huge difference because obviously I've got brown eyes and um, these are like a yellowy hazily brown like that is you know a really big difference um, uh, but um these are did I say the other ones are my favorite I think these are actually my favorite it's hard to tell. I always have like so many different favorites because they are always so nice looking. But these up close, the light's not even on me anymore. These change. These actually, I think I read some reviews <laughs> saying that these tend to change color. It's like sometimes they look green. Sometimes they look kind of gray. Sometimes they look a little yellowish. Sometimes they look like a light brown. Um, it's really hard to kind of tell what they look like, but they are gorgeous. I really, really, really like these. Um, they look very similar to the, uh, uh, let's see, what was the other one I like? The rose. So I'm going to stick one of the rows on and compare it just because to me they look so super similar. The rose was, uh, oops, one of the first ones that I put on. And these have, you know, got the definite peach rose tint to them. So you can see, I don't know if you can kind of see, they look white. Uh, a lot of these contacts that I got, I thought looked identical to each other, but they really don't. So this is more like a white. 
color and this 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 brings out the yellow here so there's a definite difference now now I don't know which one I like better I did like this one better when I first put that on but then I started liking this one better I think I still like this one best though it is really freaking pretty um, one last thing too is I wanted to share with you guys they sent me this case now I've got the set that I'm about to review um, they're actually in them so this is really cool because they've got different colors on them they're kind of like shiny uh, they've got like this metallic look around the top um, they're all different colors so I've got this is clear this is blue this is black and this one is pink and um, then of course in here is orange and another blue that's a different shade to this blue this is like a greenish blue it's like a blue blue these are quite deep cases as well and um, this comes with your tweezers and your suction cup a little bottle I guess for you to put I'd imagine it's what you put eye drops in um, and then it comes with six pairs and this I think this was only three dollars or six dollars. I'm not sure how much this is this is cheap though I mean cheaply priced and it is so super handy especially with all the lenses that I have this I saw this and I was like oh yes <laughs> because they do send you cases with every order but it is so cool to have something like this and these these cases happen to be very very nice and nice and deep because I always get paranoid that my lenses are going to get caught on the edge of the you know like say the normal you can see the difference in the size right there um, there's not a huge amount of difference but there is a difference um, and sometimes I've had lenses cling on to here when I roll them around and shake them you put the lid on and the lid it rips the contact lens in two and so you just lose the lens which really sucks but um, that's all for this video just let me know which ones your favorite contact lenses were and especially between the two comparisons I think this this is my favorite out of all all of them now that I've tried them on properly today um, I'd be really curious to know what you think and I cannot wait till I get my camera and my light and then I can have proper lighting proper camera proper zoom and I'm gonna redo all these videos and I'm gonna have them where you can see them up close and just a lot better than I've done them so far and hopefully that'll give you a better idea of actually how beautiful these lenses really are but until the next video I will see you guys later